Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Monday, October the 3rd, and today I'm going to be looking at HF propagation. And there's my HF buddy pole, uh, which is connected to an RG58 uh, transmission line, which goes into my apartment. And this is the receiving setup I'm going to be using today. I'm going to compare two receivers. I've got uh, the RTL SDR with a Hammett Up converter and the Hammett Up converter is getting its power from the USB there. I'm also going to compare it against my go-to HF receiver which is the uh, SDR-IQ um, and we're going to be listening to uh, SpectraView which is the um, receiving program I use with the SDR-IQ and then we'll be using uh, SDR-Sharp with the uh, RTL-SDR and uh, so we're going to do a quick scan over the bands from 2.5 up to 25 megahertz and we'll be looking at WWV and then we'll be comparing it against the VOA cap, the propagation prediction program to see the results we get as well as we'll be looking at the special signals that WWV sends out on the 8th and the 48th minute. Okay so we're going to do a band scan uh, with the SDRIQ first so we're looking at SpectraView. I'm down at 2.5 megahertz and we don't have a signal. So let's go up to 5 megahertz. By the way, the time now is 11.18 local. So UTC, add 4 hours to that, that would be 15.18 or 3.18 in the afternoon. So uh, no signal now at 5 megahertz. Let's go up to 10. Okay, so we got a weak signal there at 10 megahertz. there quite effectively and let's go up to 25 megahertz so we don't hear anything although it may be that the 25 megahertz tone is experimental so it may not be transmitting right now all right so that's the uh, SDR IQ so we're going to stop that and go to the uh, RTL SDR Okay, so now we're looking at the RTL STR and STR Sharp. I've got the new uh, latest release, 1900 for STR uh, Sharp. And uh, I've set it up for, I've got a frequency manager here, so I put in all the frequencies for WWV just to make it faster. If I click on 2500, there's 2500. Right now, we're receiving, uh, sounds like a shortwave broadcast. There's no time signal there. Let's go up to 5 megahertz. There's 5 megahertz, so nothing on uh, nothing on 5 megahertz. Let's go to 10. So nothing on 10 megahertz. Let's go to 15. Okay, so we got a signal there on 15. We don't hear, um, I don't hear the clicks or anything. We narrow the bandwidth a little bit. signal, but a clear signal, 
can see the carrier there in the side bands. Let's try 25. At the film, 15 hours, 32 Okay, so we'll go to 25 megahertz. Okay, so 25 megahertz, I have a solid carrier, nothing, there's no modulation. So nothing's going on there at the moment. It could actually be a spurious from the RTL, because I didn't see that on the STR IQ. Okay, so we're coming up to the eighth minute. It'll be uh, 3.08 p.m. local. That'll be 1508 local or 1908 UTC. And we're gonna see if we can capture these special signals at exactly eight minutes past the hour. Okay, I started recording the IQ signals. Let's wait and see. So we'll just take a quick look at the blog post here. So we're looking at the RTL STR for WWV propagation. Uh, there's a picture, incidentally, of the special signal. Uh, you'll see it in the video. It consists of a bunch of tones and uh, chirping up and down. These are the WWV station parameters. Those are the frequencies. There's 10 kilowatts at 5, 10, and 15 and 2.5 kilowatts at 2.5 and at 20 and if the experimental station is on it's 2.5 kilowatts so those are the spe specifications it's AM double sideband modulation 50 percent with the tones 100 percent uh, with the seconds and 75 percent for the voice the antenna is a half wave vertical omnidirectional antenna and that's the approximate latitude and longitude there's a Google Earth plot between uh, my location here in Toronto and Fort Collins, Colorado. It's about 2134 kilometers uh, great circle distance. That's just a summary of what we've seen in the video. At 2.5 megahertz, this is an intermod or a spurious tone. There was nothing there. We didn't see anything at 5 megahertz. We didn't see anything at 10. We saw a weak signal at 15, and we saw a good signal at 20 uh, megahertz. And that's a look at uh, one of the special signals there we can see in the video. Here's VOA cap. There's the uh, web interface for VOA cap. So we were using the point to point prediction. So when you click on the point point uh, prediction here, this is a screen you get. So what you have to do is I entered for the transmitter, I entered the coordinates for um, WWV and for the receive. Um, location I entered my coordinates and then I chose uh, here we using AM and I chose 10 kilowatts here and for the antennas I chose uh, I think it was a 5 8 inch that was a 5 8 um, wavelength vertical and for my for all the bands and for my receive location I chose a quarter wave vertical which is what I'm using Okay, and then we generate the prop and the wheel, uh, the propagation charts and the wheel charts. So that is the um, the propagation wheel. So at 1500 hours or 1100 local, this is the results. So we had the best propagation here in this area here, which is around 20 megahertz, which is what we saw. Um, that's the same thing in a different version. So uh, there's 15 meters or 20 megahertz, and we can see that it peaks there around 1500 UTC. Uh, 
that's just the table showing the propagation reliability, re reliability taken from the propagation wheel. So basically what we're seeing with VOA, VOA cap is pretty much what we've seen um, with the RTL results. Uh, we don't see anything except around 20 megahertz in a weak signal of 15 megahertz.